everybody, and welcome to our very first in-studio episode of Rise of the Podcast. I'm Jeremy. I'm Kara. And I'm Brownie, and I am surrounded by so much cable gore right now. <laughs> it is upsetting, to say the least. So for the record, we were going to try to go live at 7 o'clock today. Well, that didn't happen. And so it has been two hours and 12 minutes worth of, and Chris got here before, like way before that. Like we yeah. got here with the intent to take time to set up. Yeah. It, it's, it's that crazy. Yep. So it's it's been really fun Buddy, to see the technology. And then Car oh, Kara's like watching over <laughs> sorry, there. Is, sorry. That the, is that a delay? Yeah, it's a delay. Yeah, it's the yes. delay. <laughs> sorry, my peeps. Um, but man, this is so much fun. So this is episode 60, which was kind of fun. Chris just punched it into the stream. Yeah. And it's really fun to see. So, Kara, like, but isn't it fun being live? It is. I've been went. Like, you guys been talking about this forever. I've, I've been like, let's do it, let's do it. And we, uh, Gabriel. Yep. He's been wanting us to go live. So, Gabriel, I hope you watch at some point because we're live. We're live in the studio. In studio, yeah. We've got our big uh, Star Destroyer here, which we used to switch this out, and then we, there's, there's a build video you can watch us build it, which is crazy and fun. So. That's Mike D you... says we're late. <laughs> uh, John Weber says hi, Jeremy. Oh, well, that's my cousin. Yep, yep, that's awesome. That's so cool. Oh yeah, live is so much. Live is so much fun. So okay, I'm gonna tell a story um, while we're waiting for people to come in, and we can quit as questions arise. So, um, Chris, why don't you try being fancy? Switch my angle. Ready? Oh, okay. Yeah. yeah. Be fancy. Oh, what just happened, folks? Oh, oh my goodness! I have my own angle. Okay, so. Mm. Um, at work, uh, when I was overseas, we were, you know, we were using swear words a little bit too much. And we started a swear jar. So that, you know, tradition stayed over there. We didn't bring it back with us. And so recently, you know, I've told stories of my coworkers, Derek and Brooke and Kyle and everybody. The legends. The legends. So we started a new uh, tradition. So we've called out everybody for the things that they do. Not even me, because I'm like old and cranky, so they don't bring me into this. As a, I don't have anything I can't say. I'm free. I have free reign. I have freedom of speech at work. Okay. But Derek says the F word a lot, and Brooke says like a lot. So I'm going to cut back to the wide angle, because the wide okay. angle is mine for some reason. <laughs> I can relate so much to that like thing. I was When Jeremy was telling, he told me an abridged version of this story, and I, I reached a standstill. I log jammed myself trying to not say the word like. So yeah, it's, it's so tough. It is. And so so here's what so here's what's funny. So we're sitting there, and um, I mean, at one point during the day, so computer problems frustrate everybody. At one point, I'm just even walking by Derek's cubicle, and off to my right, I hear him go, "Ah, stupid computers!" <laughs> I'm like, Derek, you're not even talking to anybody, and you're swearing. I'm like, <laughs> Derek. Cut it out. So Derek, um, uh, you know, had to put some money in there or whatever. Um, but Brooke, I, we were sitting there listening, and when Brooke was talking, it broke Brooke. It broke her. One hundred percent. And so she was, she would. So relatable. We we're like, we we're talking to her, and I'm like, Brooke, you know, how's it going? And she goes, It is going good. <laughs> I'm like, it, it, and she kept. She it was, it was consistent for a while. It was really, really funny. She totally like lost the ability to say all were like speak in normal sentences. It broke her, and I, I, I thought it was funny. And Chris is like, no, I totally relate to that, that being a thing. So yeah, we, we broke Brooke by telling her that she can't say like, but she's making a conscious effort to not do it anymore. So I'm surprised because like, just use like, um. <laughs> <laughs> now we're all gonna be hyper aware of it. Seriously. Oh yeah. And here's the thing, because the word "like" is used in a comparative sense, so you say right. this is like that. Yeah. Okay. True. True. Um, but growing up, for us, like middle school, Valley girls use the word "like" a like, lot. Totally. And so, growing up in that time period, for I don't know, it's just part of your vocabulary, you know. So I'm surprised that Brooke being Oh, it's still 10 a thing. Ten years younger nope. than us? It's still a thing. Is it? Yeah, it's still a thing. Mm. So. It's a filler word for us. It's 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 our um or uh. No, I know. I well, know. That we, exactly. Jeremy and I were saying the exact same thing. It's um or like. So that was that was one kind of funny story from the course of this week. So, so uh, Matt Rass was in checking in saying, my oh, favorite show is live. Oh, hey, you know, we're too. live. And then, our, yeah, our favorite show is us. <laughs> how, how narcissistic can we be? <laughs> I like being live. I prefer being live to, you know, just that's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. 
It's you look, you're making her blush over there. She turned red. I'm turning red. Matt, what you? <laughs> Chris talked about at the beginning of the live stream. A cable gore. Cable Chris, gore. Yeah. Every camera we add is gonna add <laughs> that much more. It's like gonna add one, two, three. It, Four cables. Four cables. Oh, I don't know what I'm Not, know not to mention it. the amount of data we're generating right now, because we're st we're storing the information on the camera themselves, on the recorder, on the computer, and it's getting saved to Facebook, which is crazy. And we're gonna try, Matt. When you can come back on, we'll have another guest. You have you on as a guest. We'll have another uh, camera. So it's yeah. just cutting to Jeremy's angle like this. Woo right, that'll be one yeah. for pretty faces. Oh <laughs> man, there's gonna be Kara. I'm gonna just be one for kidding, baby. Face. I love you. <laughs> Sick burn, Kara. I know, um, I, know, I know. But we're gonna also try to add to the cable gore. We're gonna try to add to the internet gore by going uh, to YouTube at live at the same time. Imagine juggling that. Oh Poor my goodness! Chris. Like I wish. Jeremy, throw me your phone real quick. Chris is just—it's a headache for Chris to even think about putting it on Facebook and on YouTube. Poor Chris. Chris is going to take a point of view photograph, I'm guessing. I'm, I'm attempting. <laughs> make, this make, make this make pictures. <laughs> make this make pictures. I was going to say, I could totally, uh, I could totally, well, no one can hear me right now. Jeremy could totally do something. I could totally have just told you my pin, but then everybody would Tell know you. my pin on. Oop. Oh, <laughs> that's okay. Chris is cable okay. gore. <laughs> Chris is taking a photograph. Um, but yeah, anyways. It's crazy. It's fun. So for those of you who haven't, like, or are new here or haven't seen before, you tossing that? Uh, yeah. Yeah. All right. Here we go. Break a phone right on live. Because I would miss it because I'm nervous. So go ahead and hop into chat and post that picture of what I'm dealing with over here. Okay. we Will do. I'm doing it right now. Kara, tell what? us a story about your week. Tell you a story about my week. I went back to, uh, so for some in, in work, your in-office training for work. You're back at, yeah, you're going. Go, what's, uh, what's your life going to be like now? It's going to be crazy. It's going to be crazy. I don't know. Uh, work eight to two for two days a week. I can handle that. Oof, tough. I know, <laughs> right? It's going to be a struggle, yo. Uh, Mike said, can we count on one hand how many times we've gone back for the footage from the cameras? <laughs> yeah, there's just way too much footage. Oh, man. All right. I'm trying to post this, Chris. It's not going to necessarily let me. Why? Uh, I don't think I'm, it's going to let me do pictures and, com and comments. Oh, okay. What? For real? Yeah, it's only comments for comments. Oh, somebody noticed the floor mat. Yay, woo, hi, hi, Juliet. Oh, thank you, Juliet. Um, that, the floor mat, there's a story behind that. Chris, you could just, you could just, <laughs> I know this is going to be cheesy. You, you could just cut to, All right, cut my, to Jeremy's my angle. angle. So, okay, here. So, yeah, hold it up there. I'm going to do a rack focus here. Too close. That, that, pull it back just a touch more. That is what we're looking at. So as you can see, so there's the laptop where I'm controlling the stream. There's the cameras and about six million freaking cables. <laughs> There's a sneak peek at a Lego that has it. Oh, yeah. We, we filmed future. that a couple years ago. I, a couple years ago. That's crazy. Um, so those of you who don't know, you know, if you're new to the stream here or whatever, uh, we release a weekly podcast. And I have been, we have an email, contact at riseofthepodcast.com somebody please that you can send us an him. email yeah, Jeremy's please. dying well, even Jeremy's if it's just to dying. say hello I'm sending you an email please send Jeremy an email he is if desperate. you give me we'll, we'll print will, it off like, and we'll, we'll hang it on the wall I will, in a golden I, frame I will put it right here <laughs> the first email I will put here for at least an ep I mean for at least an episode we'll hang it there forever I don't care I was going to say, that that will be his place of honor. We'll, we'll get the YouTube plaques and crap like that. And no, Jared will be like, no, first, <laughs> that's my first email. Mail. Contact <laughs> at risethepodcast.com. You don't know. I get, so I have folders on my phone. And I have a note. I have a YouTube in there. And I have. He's got a YouTube. <laughs> I got a YouTube. <laughs> <laughs> so I have YouTube in there. And then I have the email app for Rise of the Podcast at contact. No, contact at risethepodcast.com. Both in the same folder. So when I get a notification for one, I think, like, oh, is it the email? And I check it, and then I realize, oh, no, it was just YouTube giving me a notification. Because I'm subscribed yeah. to, like, six people on YouTube. I really am. I, I, I'm I subscribed to about 60 people on YouTube. I was going to say, it's, it's a scroll as I subscribe, or as I look through my su subscribe. Which we, we kind of have a fun thing we're going to do, Chris. Kara's going to see our YouTuber knowledge. Uh, and I think okay. it's kind of a fun game. Um, anyways. Yeah, contact so, at Rise of the Podcast. I'll check it yeah, right now. Yeah, I was going to say the rug. Yeah, so the, the story of the rug. So if you, you can tell that the floor is gray, and the couch and the chair are gray. 
and the sound foam is dark gray. And, and the, the star, star destroyer is gray. Is gray. It's, it's just gray on gray on gray. <laughs> and I was begging, so Jeremy, the guy who's the financier of this entire venture, I'm going to punch into a close-up for you, Jeremy. <laughs> Woo, this yeah, guy I... right here, the guy that's like just hemorrhaging cash for this. <laughs> um, I was like, we need to get something to break up the gray. And it's just gray on gray on gray. And like, he's like, oh yeah, we'll get around to it. I sent him a link to this rug. I got it on Amazon for like 20 bucks. Yep. But he, he was like, oh, yeah, I'll get around to it. I'll get around to it. And he never did. And I was like, I'm, I'm sick of staring at this like, wall of gray. So then I bought it. And I've been waiting for somebody to like notice it because that's awesome. It's super it cool. It is cool. So you're the first person that commented on the rug, truly. Absolutely. Yep. Oh, hi, Nikki. Thank you for joining in Toy Stream. Nikki Jarvie from. Oh, yeah. You have Cocaine. From yeah. The entirety of our lives in school. Yes. <laughs> yeah, that's so much fun. Oh, man. Being live is way to go. This is a better way to do it. I think this is our niche. Well, let's go live. That'll be so much more fun. Ah, oh, thank you so much for coming in. I haven't <laughs> Juliet even... says, ho, Jeremy, and then she corrected it to hi. Oh. <laughs> I think awesome. you were at the first time, Juliet. Oh, man. <laughs> <laughs> I should hope not. <laughs> oh, my goodness. So I'm super excited. Um, I want uh, Justin to come back on. Matt, definitely. we got to get Keith on again. And I think doing mm -hmm. it, putting people on live. Yeah, just like the, the extra pressure. It's extra pressure. We need Let's to get see... AJ on. Well, AJ... My younger brother. We need, I, AJ is, um, there's a late night talk host who does a running gig where every time he has this person on, they like, like. It's Ellen. Is it Ellen? What, I, yeah. I, thought, I thought it was Matt Damon and Jimmy Kimmel. It like, is. Hate each it, other. Oh, is it, it Jimmy Kimmel? It, it is. It's oh. exactly I think that's where Jeremy was going. Oh for. man. Okay. We got our first listener mail. What? Oh. Yes. yes. All right. It's but it does, it doesn't count. Really, it does. <laughs> it, it does it, it count. What mom? is it? No, David. <laughs> David. Oh, okay. Oh, good job, David. Yep. Well, David, you're going to go on the wall. All right. Well, let's read what? it off. What, what's yeah, it say? Yeah, what's it say? It says, hey, love watching you guys uh, live. I don't know how nobody has emailed you yet, so I'll be the first. LOL. Thanks, well, that's going to go right here. But this space means so much to me. I will put another one. <laughs> if you do not know me personally, <laughs> I will put one here. We'll you're, have a collage. You're, of... you're cutting a lot of potential emails out here. <laughs> <laughs> that's fine. I finally got one. That's what that's like to get that notification. Chris tried so hard. You spent how many hours in forty five or forty five minutes editing uh That that's super. They go if you like of all twenty five of you that have watched the podcast on YouTube, um, I made a, a graphic that came up whenever Jeremy mentioned the thing, and I was like, I did all this fancy stuff. It's like, I got to draw people's attention to it. It's got to be up in big and bold letters. Like, yes. try to make it as enticing as possible. And it pops up. The mouse goes over and, like, clicks it. So what you need to do is you need to assign that to a, a, assign that to a stream key, Chris. So you just, like, hit a well, button, no, and then so it'll... I, I can load it as a graphic into OBS and just go boop and pull it up. Exactly. Well, like, you know, literally, when, when I count us in for the doing the thing, I can have the intro playing and everything. Oh, like, cool. I, could, I could have everything right here. Saying, why uh, I why didn't we? Well, it's because it's a lot... <laughs> we had a lot of bugs Chris to figure out. Chris can do it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we had a lot of bugs to figure out. Poor Chris. So. Oh, man. I was so mad. You're talking about people swearing at work. <laughs> uh, yeah. <laughs> Oh, and, and then so, like, OBS, so we had an audio-video latency, so we had to fix that, line that up. We had, um, I mean, okay, I don't, I don't know, Mike, this is a funny one for you if you're still watching, Mike D. Um, this is, a, okay, so here we go, Mike, ready? Chris had everything set up perfectly, and the connection from the stream <laughs> input into the computer is USB 3.0 on one side and USB-C on the other. It would not read. And we were. this is like an hour worth of messing around with it. After trying different HDMI cords into the Elgato stream capture, we I walked over, I took the USB-C out, flipped it, put it back in. Instant, the stream, ca the stream came yeah, up. The I was so freaking salty about that. It's a USB-C. <laughs> it's supposed to work both ways. It's supposed and it's, and it's to. It's the one that came with the freaking card. It came with the Elgato, it's, it's, it's yeah. It's the cable that they're like, this will do the job. You bought this product to do. Oh, huh? we're yay. The email's working. Yay. We oh. just had to go live. <laughs> he sent you one now. Mike. <laughs> <laughs> also have a good time doing shows. So we're going to have two emails. David and Mike also having a good time. Like, <laughs> there you go. That was it. That was your real estate. Everybody else, you've had your chance. <laughs> that was it. There we go. That'll be I mean, it's not like we did two two podcast stories about it yeah, two. and the post which is pinned to the top of the page and a story i did a facebook story about it when we first got it set up so it's like 
Oh, hey, Justin. Jeremy. Justin has tuned in. Oh, Justin oh, hey. from Cinefile? Yep. Yay. So, Justin, I got a funny story for you. All right. So, Justin. All right. So, ju- okay. All right. So, Justin. <laughs> so, Justin. <laughs> he just can't get his words out. I'm so excited. Live is so much more fun and energetic. It's unbelievable. I'm, like, blushing over here. All right. So, Dulucon 2019 <laughs> happened, and Justin was a huge supporter of Dulucon 2019. Yeah. And so he was there. Um, him and his fiance, yeah, Stella. Stella. Mm-hmm. Stella was there. Congratulations, guys. Congratulations. You get like, boom. Anyways, okay. So I, I like how you guys both had the, uh, the clip in letter board. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, oh, I love this Photoshop story. Yeah. Yes. Oh, it was so good. All right. So, anyways, so, okay, this is a story for Justin now. Um, so, he, uh, we did. Everybody had a, else tune out. This is only for Justin. <laughs> <laughs> we had a. Uh, video person go around and get video. And anybody who's ever like dealt with cinematography, stuff happens. <laughs> Anyways, we didn't get that video. Mar- Margaret uh, says, uh, saying hi, being at work, I keep turning the volume down. The hand gestures are keeping me very amused. Jeremy <laughs> is very animated, <laughs> like 100%. So, Thank you, Margaret. Uh, so, okay, so back to Justin. So Chris, you and Keith. That's me. And walked Keith. around Dulucon with a camera. Yep. That is the only footage that we have. We, we have the archival monopoly. Of Dulucon 2019. On, on du- and, and I actually, I have the, the both news broadcasts. It's in, the, it's in what you gave me. Yeah. So I was going to talk to you about that. So Okay, so pin that really quick. Yep. So I cut together a video, which will be coming out on the Dulucon Facebook page, um, mm-hmm. uh, like a bumper video. Yeah, like it, a sizzle reel or something like a, that. A sizzle reel, right? Justin, you're totally in it. So that was my whole story for you, is that I purposely, because of your support and everything, as like I definitely cut to you and left you in there. It, you're little... just like randomly looking at the floor or something. It's not stupid. <laughs> <laughs> but you're in there. You're not standing cool. on top of a hill with a wave flag, or a flag waving patriotically <laughs> behind you or anything. You're just like organizing something or like intera- getting ready for an interaction, but you're th- definitely in the video. Yeah, you're definitely say, in the video. You, so are like, in Cinef- or you are in Dulu Khan's first video. In the same way that Keith is in The Dark Knight Rises. What? Yeah, what? He, he, he told you the story. He's in the Did crowd he? shot. In the, in oh, the, that's right. That's right. Stadium. In the stadium. Yeah. I, I remember him that. saying that. Yeah. Oh, no, you weren't here. This one. This that one was Jeremy's... that was just me and Keith. Was, Whoa. Oh. See, I was like, wow. <laughs> well, Jeremy hey, didn't listen to that one. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, 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 put me on. Bla- it would have been better if I would have said, if I would have said, oh, yeah, yeah, I remember that. Because I didn't. It's I like I said, it. when we were, when we were at Galaxy Con, if somebody asks you a yes, no kind of question, it's like, oh, you yeah. Say yes. Yep. Are you famous? Yeah, we yeah, are. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I remember it's that. It's the, the Winston. Zedmore exactly. from, ba- from uh, Ghostbusters. Oh man! So Someone okay, asked so, if you're a god, you so, yes. <laughs> so Chris, the one thing I was going to ask you is, you put that news footage in there. What would have happened if I would have used some of the footage KBGR shot, cut out of their news story, and put it in my bumper reel? Uh, probably nothing, to be completely honest. Yeah, because who shot the, the, it? Right? The, the news is a public service type of thing. Like you're not right. making any money off the video. No, it's just for uh, promotion. So for thing one A, I don't think anybody would ever even know. Right. But <laughs> thing one B, like if they're gonna make a big deal about it, like we'll just take the video down and read it. I mean, can you it. imagine somebody watching the footage, the the news footage of it from when it was released last <laughs> October, <laughs> watching our sizzle reel and being like. Wait. That's that same shot. I recognize that. Wait, that's the lady who's not alone anymore. <laughs> yeah, but, but you, you, know, you know how many times that's happened, though? Oh People will gosh. one-off remember stuff that, like... Oh, yeah. For, I, that happens to me all the time. Yeah. Uh, Justin says, I want to make yearly cameos in the Dulucon video, but never pay attention. <laughs> <laughs> well... Dulucon, I mean, as of this moment, is still happening, so it's going yeah, down. It's yeah. not happening at Marshall School. Like we had posted about, Marshall's not renting out this oh, year. Really? Oh, really? We might be go- might be going to Superior Middle School. Okay, that's good to know. Okay, so, so what would it be? Supercon? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Instead of Dulucon, Super. Yeah, that's fun. Supercon's Kara. pretty cool, actually. Right? Yeah. Well, that's that's low hanging fruit there. But the theme of this year copyright is Copyright Kara Havenstein twenty. Uh, oh, Kara oh, Nancy dang. twenty twenty. Doesn't even want Whoa. your name, Jeremy. Did you just say Havenstein? What is <laughs> pregnancy brain? Jeremy. Pregnancy brain. I claim pregnancy. I don't even brain. want this angle anymore. You can just point <laughs> it at Kara. Just point it over there. <laughs> Yeah, see? That's what you get. Oh, no. Something happened. The stream deck got Chris. We're down. Are we? Oh, no. We're coming back. Oh. Oh, man. What a, what? Just leave. Let's give Kara her angle for the rest You're of the so time. You're so funny. No, no, You Chris. talk more than I do. Oh, so <laughs> I will this say this. I was going to say, well, it's focused on me. 
I overheard a Jeremy and Chris conversation, and I don't know if anybody else has noticed this, but I have. Hold on, hold on. I want to tell this story. You want to tell this story? No, no, this is your story. I was going to say, don't you cut me out like... I overheard them talking, and Jeremy admitted to Chris on the phone that I will be in the middle of a story, and they, nine times out of ten, will cut me off. They'll, like, take over my story. Well, Kara, you... Oh. <laughs> I was gonna say, Kara, you almost just let me do it to you. I said I want to tell it. And you're I'm like, Minnesota okay, nice. I'm Minnesota all right, go ahead and nice. tell the story about you Sorry. taking away my stuff. It's so okay. So funny. funny thing though, like in real life, I will be trying to describe a movie, like the plot line of a movie, and it will take me like twenty minutes. To you know, describe something that could take five, and so half the time I'm like, oh no, Jeremy, you just tell it. <laughs> And that's true. That's true. I, I get it. A little bit more economical there. Well, yeah, way. I use my hands and I get people going. <laughs> yeah, no, I <laughs> embellish stuff. He does. He does know? embellish things. He'll tell a story to somebody on the phone. And I'm like, I don't remember it happening exactly like that, Jeremy. <laughs> well, you have poetic license, Carrie. Everybody does. You get to embellish stuff. That's what makes it fun. Yeah, but Carrie needs to fact check you, too. <laughs> I mean, I do. I do. Carrie keeps me in check. Sometimes. Oh, man. Whew. All right. So, <laughs> All right, so I'm going to try and do this without causing a horrible disturbance again. <laughs> so if, if, if the stream gets messed up again, it's because I'm turning the camera. <laughs> give do you give so, Jeremy his uh, angle back. If you, if you missed it last year. Last year. If you. Uh, wow. If you missed it last year. In the beginning of the podcast, we talked about how much work it was to get it all set up. And it was so overwhelming to try to get all three cameras going. And we're working on another project, and we already are, like, hauling a bunch of gear back and forth from the studio to Chris's house. and It's a nightmare. It's, it's a nightmare. So, um, yeah, we're, we're going to have Kara's angle back. And, um, again, Chris said I financed the whole thing at the cost of more financing. We can add a fourth angle. We have the technology to do it. <laughs> we do. We really do. I just have to spend more money to add the fourth angle on just the... Yeah. Um, we're, we're, we're just an HDMI cable away from giving Kara her camera back. Yeah. Yeah, an HDMI cable from that, and then for the fourth stream, we need an HDMI to SDI converter. So Now, Chris, you have to figure out how to package all of this up and be able to take it on the road. That's your next goal. Oh, my goodness. In an efficient how way. How many semis do we get? Yeah. <laughs> that's, that's basically what we need. We need a trailer. Like, when I, I was in a band back in the day, and we had a small, like, just like a probably a, I don't know, 10 by 10 trailer, whatever, and we'd load all of our musical instruments in there. That's what we need. Yeah, we do. We really do. Just saying. I yep. mean, I mean, when we are in high demand podcasters, <laughs> every con they want us there, we're going to have to haul the whole entire kit and caboodle. That was like one of the biggest things that we kind of lost out on is we, were, we wanted to get out to more conventions this yeah. year and we're going to get to like none. Well, that, it's that's not, not even fault. out of our own accord. Right. Yeah, Everything we COVID. wanted to go yeah. to. Yeah. It's just. We had tickets to Disney After Dark. We had tickets to the Star Wars celebration. We had tickets to Galaxy Con. We had take. We have Dulu Con. Did we Galaxy have, Con Min Minneapolis actually I, cancel? I want to say. I don't that think it they did. did. I thought it was like New York that did or something like that. The big one. Well, it's right around the same time as Dulu Con, isn't it? Or is it's it's like a month a after. Couple, yeah. It's November that um, Galaxy Con is. Oh, Mike D said he'll build us a broadcast cart for twenty five hundred bucks. Oh, <laughs> is that just the cart, or does that also include more gear? <laughs> I, th I think that only covers his labor, and then parts are on top of that. Oh, man. I get my egg chair before well, you get that. So I just want to know, so did Mike, is, did you have one, like, when you worked at uh, Duluth.com? Or, were, I mean, you worked at Sta uh, Staple Gun, probably. Oh, there's Plaster City as well, way back in L.A. Whoa. I, oh, man, I love He only it. works in places that are named after, like, uh, implements of construction, like a Staple Gun <laughs> or Plaster or whatever. Oh, it's and Duluth is, joke. A, Duluth is always under construction. Oh, yes. <sighs> It's true. Um, All right, so like it seems like we have maybe a couple new viewers. Thank you guys for joining us uh, mm -hmm. as we're doing this. Uh, while I'm talking, I'll just punch into Jeremy's angle and let him be happy for a moment. Yeah, and I'm now, so happy. Uh, it's Nissa. Oh, now we're going to back to wide. woo -hoo! Um, If you guys have any questions about Star Wars or about us. Yeah, anything about... nerdy that we might possibly know. So yeah. here's why we're doing this live is for the interaction because no yeah. one emailed me, and now emails are coming through. And that's awesome. So we have an email, contact at Rise of the Podcast. And when we pre-recorded these, that was the only way that we could really contact or engage with the audience. 
is yeah, through so we, that. We want to hear from you guys. We want to hear. Ask us a question. Yeah. So the things we love, Star Wars, Lord of the Rings. The sim, I mean, sim, ask Kara how it is uh, having a junior version of oh, so, them together. So Brooke was excited. She wants to know, Kara, what weird cravings do you have? You've got to have What something. day are you talking about? <laughs> <laughs> and what time of day are you talking about? I mean... Have you had, like, the pickles and ice cream thing Nothing yet? super weird. Okay. I did wake up the other day, and I saw one of my friends post um, about Big Daddy Burgers on P- up in Piedmont area. I've never had one. They're so good. Okay, so I've never had it. But they posted a picture, and at, like, 8 a.m. in the morning, I was like... That looks real good, <laughs> <laughs> you know? And so I really wanted that. And I was like, I could eat that for breakfast, right? Normally, oh, I would not sure. want a burger for breakfast. Anyway, and so I was like, oh, maybe we'll get, you know, Seven West for dinner. Yep. Dinner rolls around. I did not want a hamburger. You do not give me a hamburger. Give me something else. <laughs> so I, I don't know. I haven't had any weird, crazy mixture cravings. It's just. So sugar has been Kara's go-to. So here's my funny story for Kara here. It's, so Kara calls me up there, Dan, and she I wish she gets me. She knows what time I leave work, and she, bring. oh, you're on your way home? <laughs> <laughs> Could you stop by the store? Oh, you're so sweet. And it's like, Kara, you've been at home the but whole time. But then I time. have to get dressed. No, oh. That's the real thing. Oh, oh my goodness. Because I work okay. from home. Sometimes I'll be like, I'll call my roommate. And then I was going to pick something up on the way home because I don't want to put on pants and go out of the no, house. No, seriously, Kara. that's it. She like, just had the realization today. She goes, Jeremy, I'm going to have to wear more clothes once the baby is born. Like, this is like my house. Kids grow this up. is my domain. I don't want to have to do that. <laughs> don't, like, you're making me sound like some redneck that sits in my trailer like, hey, you know, get me a bush from the, from the fridge. <laughs> no, you know, no, like- no. It's just... <laughs> <laughs> we you relax at home. It's your and so anyway. So Kara calls me up and I'm I'm, I'm leaving work. I, I I have a little earpiece. I put my earpiece in. I always, I call Chris via the earpiece uh, too. You say I you put in your little earpiece. All I can think of is like the Bluetooths that people oh, had in the yeah. ear all the time. The jawbone or the, the very Jeremy's just like person. you yeah, got Jeremy ears. here. <laughs> um. So regardless, jawbone or not, crazy old man speaker. <laughs> You know, so I got my little earpiece in. She calls me up and she goes, okay, I'm really craving fruit snacks. Can you get fruit snacks? I'm like, what kind? I don't care. What kind, right? Ooh, Chris. Okay. Oh, man. We had macaroni poll go up on Rise of the Podcast. Yep. And people apparently like That's not a like stack shapes. of macaroni. That was a question about macaroni. Yes. Yeah, people no. People smart. like shapes over noodles, which noodles are way better. But I digress. Okay. So, Chris. Oh, he already Are Gushers today, fruit snacks? Gushers are Gushers. They're not fruit snacks? No. What Thank is you. wrong with both air of you? Five, air high five, What Chris? is wrong with both of you? Gushers, Gushers are not fruit snacks. It's a fruit snack. All right, people, comment. Are Gushers fruit snacks? No, they're fruit snacks. They're no, they're not. Right, it's yeah, like a, let, Let's hash this out. I would eat Yeah, I want to hear what people say. Fruit snacks is the uh, parent term, and then your children terms underneath you have uh, Gushers, fruit snacks, like sharks. <laughs> I was going to say- Fruit roll up, fruit by the foot. It's like like if you're classifying animals, you can't have the the family penguin and then the order penguin, <laughs> right? So if, if there's already a thing called fruit snacks, it can't be both. Right, so it's so like, it's like fruit snacks and then sharks and you know uh, dinosaurs and. I was gonna say basically you're trying to say that you've got your mammals, you got your bear. We'll go with a bear, yeah. and you're trying to tell me that a frog is the same family as a bear. Well, no, it's fruit snacks. Gushers are fruit snacks. Anyways, so then she goes. So, okay. Well, uh, uh, Nikki I think says no. Yeah, Nikki says they're not fruit snacks. Thank you, Nikki. Oh, man. You're smart. <laughs> so, all right. So, we're rebu- so Kara goes, bring me some fruit snacks. All right. So, we've established, and she goes, what kind? I don't he care. He has my favorite right. fruit snacks are oh, the no, Mike, t- Walmart Mike, smiles. Get out of here, Mike. You're not allowed to say technically. <laughs> are, is he right? Technically, they are? He says they're technically. So are Skittles a fruit snack then? No, because they're Starbucks. Right. No, that, that, right? I think that is the best right? argument. No, no, go. Gushers are a fruit snack. No, but no, Mike's juice. argument is saying it's a fruit flavored snack. Skittles oh, are fruit flavored snack. I like snack. that. Yeah. So it, using Mike's logic, you would have to accept Skittles as fruit. Snacks. Starburst. I yeah. mean, Starburst are a fruit snack. <laughs> no, they're not. <laughs> but okay, uh, you cut a fruit. Sna- okay. Oh, I'm gonna finish the story. I will come back to the thing. So then she goes. She goes, <clears throat> so she goes, Jeremy, Margaret, you're smart pick too. up fruit snacks. I said, okay. And she goes, also pick up some Gushers. 
And I'm like, okay, okay. You can, I told her. I really, I was like, I put my foot down. I was like, you need, you can't have fruit snacks and gushers. Like you can't, you can't have all of those things. I said, you can either get fruit snacks or you can get gushers, but you can't have both. I came home with both. I told so, him if he didn't come home with both, I would walk down to the gas station. I would put on clothes, walk to the gas station and get whichever one he didn't pick up for me. But so, yeah. So, so she, Mike says the, uh. The fruit snacks you're talking about are gummy candies. Gummy candy, okay. So the, yes, so fruits, Nikki, fruits, aren't they? Yeah, fruit they're snacks, so good. Yes, uh, fruit snacks being like the lowest thing in the in the subcategory of fruit snack of gummy candies. Then you can have like your Sour Patch Kids or your uh, so, Bowie Bows or whatever. But when are most gushers think a of gummy f- candy? Then they're gummy candy. I would say yeah, gushers are a gummy candy, a, a fluid filled gummy candy. Yes. But when somebody says fruit snack. And that's a very specific thing. Exactly. Exactly. Okay. So here's what I want to just put on as a little addendum. A cherry on top, because that's where my metaphor is going, all right? <laughs> it's a cherry on top. Ice cream and fruit Gosh. snacks as ice cream with sauce drizzled on it is to Gushers. They took something and they added to it to, yeah. to, to, to make it. But so still fruit it's snack like, is the base and the Gusher filling is the If you just drained the a Gusher, sauce. I still would not consider it a fruit oh, snack. The texture okay. is completely different. I want to do like yeah, a double, double so blind Gusher's scary. like a waxy fruit yeah, snack. Yeah, it's like it's really, it extra, gets like, stuck in your teeth. Whatever and that just, extra thing they put yeah, into it. Yeah, it's harder. Yeah. Uh, okay, are gummy bears a fruit snack? No. No, gosh, no. Not even close. No. They're a gummy treat. But they're not fruit flavored. <laughs> are they? I, they technically they, they are. are. Are but they, I, do, I I was I, I don't like the texture of here's gummies. my thing you don't find so. gummy bears next to the fruit snacks at the grocery store okay if I took a gusher and cut it in half and drained the fluid out and then rinsed it off and then took a fruit snack and cut it so it was the same shape and texture I would and know I the difference both, like that you would go they're both I fruit would snacks. immediately know the difference the texture no, I'd so be like one is a desiccated gusher right. and one is a fruit snack. <laughs> I'm sorry to all of our listeners. <laughs> just when you're arguing about gushers and fruit snacks. Well, no, it's a funny story. Jarrett says gushers are totally fruit snacks. Jarrett, you're wrong. Woo! He just doesn't want Jeremy to take his PS4. And back. you need to bring you need to bring bring Apollo down here. <laughs> this is amazing. We got an email from someone who I don't know, and they're Yay! going, oh, whoa! Woo! Woo! Juliet, Julietta. Woo! Hello, hello. I want to be on the mirror. I mean R2D2 wall. Uh, hey, Gabriel's watching. Amazing... Yay! Gabriel, you're here. You were one of our first, like, cool top, or not cool. Everybody's cool. <laughs> <laughs> one we're of not our one of those first... nerdy guys. Uh, one of our <laughs> first top fans. Anyways, you are going on the wall. That is it. That email is going on the wall. Yes. Woo! That is so exciting. You See? have, you all have made Jeremy's heart so happy right oh. now. Like, his life is complete. If he died tonight, he'd be happy. Yeah. <laughs> Well, Mike D is coming in clutch with Gushers, Gushers facts here. Okay. It says Gushers are gelatin-free, so that might be the difference we're noticing. Between. That's probably it, because the gelatin really? would give it that kind of squishy yep. texture. So is it just an old, uh, like, foul, false fact that gelatin is made with bones? The cow hubs. So, so, so gelatin is derived from, oh, uh, what's it called now? Because my point pectin would be... Send us, send us is, an email, Gabriel. And pectin comes from stuff like <laughs> horses, hooves, or bones, or whatever. Yeah. So it's the it's the pectin that makes the gelatin jelly. Because what I want to know is people can be allergic to gelatin. Is yes. that correct? So they could eat gushers. Technically, I suppose. James McLaughlin says Target lists gushers as fruit snacks. Yay! Tar- and you love Target. I do love Target, but in this case, I will say Target is wrong. Juliet Sanchez says gushers are disgusting. <laughs> <laughs> so it doesn't, at the end of the day, it only matters whether or not you like them or not. Right. How you classify them doesn't matter. So, but, Ju- so, but when your wife email, asks for Chris, fruit snacks, you get th- your wife fruit snacks. Yeah. That's going on the did wall. Did you hear that? You get your wife fruit snacks. That's what we did. I did. I got you gushers and I got you fruit Thank snacks. Thank you. Thank you. So, okay. So, another, so yeah, the moral of the story is you just do what Kara tells that's you. That's right, you do. <laughs> um, if your wife is pregnant, just do what she asks. Well, I've learned that. <laughs> So, uh, other, do you have any other cra- cra- like cravings? Any other weird things? Dr. Pepper has been my go-to. Dr. Like, Pepper's just straight up good no matter right? what. Right? So here's a question for you, Chris. Kara's been um, you know, aware of how much caffeine she has. Okay, mm-hmm. You've been aware of your caffeine yes. intake. Caffeine intake of Dr. Pepper. Is there caffeine in Dr. Pepper? If so, what is it compared to a can of Coke? Uh, yes, there is, and I think they're about the same. It's comparable. They're mm-hmm. ha- it's a half. 
It's what half? It's half. It's really? four, It's 43. 41, one can of Dr. Pepper. Yeah, and it's about 60 to 80 for a can of Coke, I believe. Well, you know Mike or somebody fact check me. Do you know what like an eight ounce cup of coffee is? 80 ish. That's way more than that. 110? Like an eight ounce cup of coffee. Yeah, like yeah, like an eight like a regular so what I, what they would consider a serving of coffee. It's like hundreds. It's like two hundred and fifty milligrams. No, it's not that much. It is. Coke I thought it's supposed to be so no, it, it, it is a myth that people say that like oh soda has almost as much caffeine as coffee. It's not even close. It's a myth? It's not even close that sodas is the, like even like Mountain Dew, which has about exactly the same as a Coke. It's like a quarter of what you get in a, in a cup of coffee. Oh, we had that discussion. We did. I didn't I so we went through Taco Bell and Jeremy got, we, we both ordered our food. He ordered us both Mountain Dew Baja Blast because, I mean, quality, come on. Quality, yeah. Yep, right. Um, and I told Jeremy, I was like, no, I, I, I can't have that much caffeine. And he's like, oh, well, okay. And so I got, I don't know, Pepsi. And we left, and he was like, you know they have the same amount of caffeine, right? And I was like, no, they don't. Looked yeah. it up, yep, Absolutely Mountain Dew. Do. As a yeah, kid, that's like, that's like yeah, most soda. Yeah, the, that is the myth that perpetrates like Mountain Dew is so much stronger. Yeah. Like, yeah, like I think I compared it to Surge from our childhood. Yeah, and so I just automatically assumed Mountain Dew had so much more caffeine, and it didn't. We uh, we've got a little bit of a backlog of us. Uh, you stuff are right, to, Mike. It is the best Mountain Dew. Here. So uh, James McLaughlin is like, well, the real question is, did you eat them both, the fruit snacks and the guys? Dang right, oh, I yeah. did, boy. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I got, I'll have a story Same about night. that. I have a Same story night. about that. <laughs> All of them. Okay, uh, Mike says they have Baja Blast Zero in cans. And he's gonna have one right now. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so here's the. Th- okay, so. So here's the. Order. I have been wanting. We're speaking of soda right now, so. Margaret says yum Taco Bell. Right. Um. So, I have been looking for caffeine-free Coke, but they oh, yeah. only sell it. I can only find it caffeine-free Diet, Diet Coke. Yeah, in the gold can. They, but they, you I know they can- used to sell it. Yeah, they did. <laughs> Yep. I cannot have aspartame. I'm allergic to aspartame. And so, like, Diet Coke, <laughs> Diet Pepsi is now switching from aspartame to sucralose or something, which I can have. Um, it was a shame because Pepsi is trash. I like Pepsi. I like uh, them pe- both. Pe- Pepsi is in the okay. I don't want to open up a can of worms. I'll drink <laughs> Pepsi all day long if I have to. Yeah. Um, but it's not nearly as good as Coke. Uh, Mike says the real question for you is what are Twizzlers? Candy. Ooh, Twizzlers. Because so, they're, they're strawberry flavored, they're not gummy really. Well, so Twizzlers are that that thing that does anybody ever buy a small bit like you, like Twizzlers? I equate to gas station convenience store candy. Yeah, you get like the big pound. But bag. you always get the pound bag. Yeah, you know, they, I, they sell the little bags. The only little version. It's not the Twizzlers. Nibs. It's the nibs. The nibs. I think nibs the are nibs. the most delicious thing in oh, the whole entire world. So you want to know what's crazy? We're talking about textures of macaroni noodles. <laughs> Menards or someplace had. Twizzlers untwisted? It was a nib stick. Weird. What? It was Twizzlers untwisted. It was called Isler. <laughs> Isler's. Because they uh, without the twists, without the teeth. <laughs> That's funny. They tasted like nibs. So if if either there's two things that were could happen here. Different recipe, or it is the same recipe, and, and the, the texture, texture changes, changes the flavor yeah. of the nibs. Oh, either Adam, way, I have to argue going. with you. Twizzlers are better than red vines. <laughs> oh. I'm sorry. Oh, okay. okay. What I, about, I've never had a red vine. So what about Aussie friend, licorice? My, oh, and black licorice. No, black, licorice. Black, black licorice. Black licorice. Black licorice. Black licorice can burn in the oh, deepest what is it? parts uh, of hell. Niacin hell. or cap cap? What is it? Nice. What, ma- what makes black licorice taste? Anise. 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 Yeah. Anise. Anise. I love it. Ick. Good and plenty. That's black licorice, everyone. Ooh, ooh. Yeah. Who doesn't like good and plenty? Nobody likes good and plenty. Like as it's a delicious. kid, trick or treating. If you, you, you got a good and plenty, you, that got thrown out. They, you know why they're called good and plenty? Is when you get a one ounce box when you trick or treating. Good. That's plenty. <laughs> <laughs> no, so okay, you guys know the episode of uh, um, Gravity Falls <laughs> with the with the monster that eats all of the th- or that's because is made up of all the throwaway candy. Yeah. Th- it was all Good and Plenty's. Yeah. That's all it was. Yeah, for real. Good and Plenty's are nasty. No, I love Good and Plenty. They're the worst. All right, well, yeah. all right. So uh, <laughs> Mike's uh, okay. So Gabriel says, "Don't mess with Pepsi." <laughs> <laughs> See, I no, like. So I'll, I'll, I will say this: like, here here's how I stand between Coke and Pepsi. Coke is more flavorful. Pepsi is more refreshing. That's I I would agree with that's that. That's my personal takeaway. If it's a hot day and ice Pepsi cold all Pepsi, day. oh, that's you can't beat it. Yeah. Right. If it's something where it's like you're like just want to have like a nice, ref, nice. I was gonna say refreshing, but oh, maybe just want to have like a 
a nice beverage that has like a lot of flavor or if you're using it for a mixer or something. I will never use Pepsi as a mixer. See, I could never see Pepsi as a mixer either. It's, it's a little, it's, a, it's sweeter than Coke. It's I sweeter, think. but yeah. it's thinner. Coke is yeah. not as sweet, but it's more robust. syrupy. It's thicker, yeah. 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 So it's like Coke just like bonds better with stuff. That's why it's Jack and Coke, not yeah. uh, Jack and Pepsi. Not, like whatever it is. <laughs> Cat and Pepsi. Yeah, Cat and Pepsi. <laughs> um... <laughs> anyway, oh, man, we're really falling gosh. down a rabbit hole. Um, oh, I think Mike D says they don't sell Twizzlers. They just ban- keep them on the shelves. Got it. <laughs> uh, Juliet says the Twizzlers are a candy, not a fruit snack. Yes, Izzlers agreed. are the same as the pullin' peels. Are what now? You know the Twizzler pull. Oh. Yes, yeah, yeah. He yeah. says that those are the same. I love so I love during the during like Fourth of July when they come out with their cherry <laughs> I'm a, I'm lemonade blue I eat, raspberry. I eat pull and peel. I don't. Oh, I don't. I pull those suckers. <laughs> oh, so string I'm cheese. Half, I half, eat string cheese. I'm halfway in between you two. Pull and peel. You have to pull and peel. Yes. It's in the name. Even though string cheese is called string cheese, I, just I eat that like it. a monster. Yeah, yeah, I'm just like. Mm. That's uh, another who thing. Who has time? I just see under your fingernails. That's the thing that I hate. Right. I want cheesy fingernails. Totally. Totally. Agreed. Um, I, I have been eating a lot of string cheese lately. Yeah, so there's a lot of people who say black licorice can just go away. Why? Yeah. It's so oh, good, though. Wait, no, Margaret's on your team. She says good and plenty is awesome. Yay! Uh, Yay! Uh, we'll take all your guys. Pepper is a, they have Dr. Pepper flavored Twizzlers. What? What? Oh, I heard there's Gushers flavored yogurt, by the way. Oh, yeah. Yo Play has come out with a Gushers flavored like, yogurt. I want to try it as an experiment. Right? Seriously. Totally agree. Um. You guys are all into Mike it. Mike D, I'm telling you, though, that Wild Cherry Vanilla Pepsi. Ooh, that's pretty cool. That's a solid That choice. is. I'll say, like, the, the ch- cherry versions of Coke are wildly inconsistent. Yeah. The cherry versions of Pepsi are always right on. Yep. Like, the, like if I had the if I had to choose any day of the week between a cherry Pepsi and a cherry Coke, I'd take a cherry Pepsi. Totally agree. Totally agree. Um, Adam... Wants to know the real question: Do you prefer Sprite Seven Up or Sierra Mist or Mist Sprite. Twist? Sprite. Really? Yeah. Seven Up. I oh. went through a phase. I was probably around 21, 22. I went through a phase. Sprite was all I drank. Like every time I go to the gas station, it was Sprite. I, Chris, you know me growing up. What my drink was, right? What was your drink, Jeremy? Smelly Yellow. Oh, that's what right. is wrong with drink. you? What do you mean that? Oh, was wrong? I will say this: Retin Link. They like Mellow Yellow. They do not like that, Mountain Dew. They that like was Mellow Yellow. Seriously, I, I, my I will jam. say that there is a very large difference between Mellow Yellow and Mountain Dew. I don't even classify them as like I, I, they, they, They're both like citrus drinks. Right. But I would say, like I would say that like Sprite is closer to Mountain Dew than Mellow Yellow is. To I, I, how did we not yeah, kill I, ourselves? I think I'd agree that as that. kids. So I thought I thought drinking Mellow Yellow made me cooler. Like, I was a better person for no, drinking. No, Mello, Mellow <laughs> Yellow was, cool. was for was this, nerds. The cool people no, no. drank Mountain Dew. What are you wrong? I, Mellow Yellow Amy and I nerds. chugged Mountain Dew no, back no, no, in the Mellow day. No, 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 Mellow Yellow. So, so here's what I'm, I can't even believe I'm telling this story. At one point in one day, like, we... Okay, you remember the middle school, oh, yeah. Chris? And there was that retaining wall that... And then there was, like... So it was the one door I always went out. You had the pool door. Yeah, or the way that you go up to the CYC. Yep. And, yeah. Okay, so the CYC way and then that door right there. Yep. That was, like, my door. And I would always go in and out of that door. So I think I told this story before. I thought it would be cool, and I rode my bike off that retaining wall. Yeah. And crashed. You didn't tell the story. At the little store down there? All right, fine. I'll tell this story really quick. All right. When I was a kid, drinking my Melly Yellow in middle school, thinking I was super cool. Though I just have burned in memories of that specific stretch of road from there down to the building we're in right now. Well, it's like a block away from your house. Right, right. It's actually like two blocks away from here. (laughs) I had just gotten this bike, and every like I thought I was super cool, so it was the end of the day. And I took my bike and I rode down the retaining wall. And then there was a ramp here and stairs here. So I rode, and it was over four feet, five yeah, it feet. It was a pretty substantial wall. So I drove I dro- drove my bike, biked it off, off the thing and landed, right? Well, I've never done that in my entire life. And I did it like at the end of the day, at the end of class. So my feet came down and I like hit the bar, but the pedal came around and caught my pants. So like you've got your inseam of your pants. Did it rip them? It caught it and it ripped it from the inseam down yes. to the inside oh of the my leg. Gosh. So I so I had like if this is your uh, leg, you have I a had, leg. Just put it your leg, Jeremy. I, I had a triangle rip in the shape of a triangle from here, flapping in the wind. <laughs> I'm serious. So I landed. I was injured, and then I had a. I was like instant draft, and I was like, ah! Everybody's looking at me, and so I had to like bike away in shame. So I had to drink plenty of Mellow Yellow. So, anyways, not too far after the why the weather Mellow Yellow ties into this. Oh my gosh! Is that 
I wanted to see how much Mellow Yellow I could drink in a day. And I drank <laughs> over 120 ounces of Mellow Yellow. Oh, Th- that's a gallon. Okay. Yes. So you want to talk about this. At the previous dental clinic I worked at, I had a patient who didn't drink anything but Mountain Dew. And every single time he would come in for his cleaning, he would have a jug about this. Like one of the big oh, gulps or whatever yeah. from... You know, like gas stations. Yeah. I mean, just a big one. And he would he would come in every single time with that big old thing of Mountain Dew, and he'd just be chugging away at it. I'm like, Ugh. that was that was 2000. So that's why I want to know how I didn't kill myself. Like, I don't know how I didn't die of I don't a heart know. attack. Well, okay, kids nowadays are yeah. pounding the Red Bull and you know whatever. Your, your body's a lot more capable of. <sighs> of, of, of uh, that's really abuse. funny. If we want to talk about my, I remember my beverage transmission. So. Oh. I, your beverage trans what hold, trans- on, hold that thought because I have a sprite story from all right all right head. so because like I because I prefer seven up really but uh I do like the seven up spot not gonna lie so well you played that spot video game that's right I did uh, cool but spot. I remember so growing up so like Friday nights like TGIF you know like all that like we would do we would get pizza you know fairly regularly right and uh I don't know if they even do it anymore but you used to be able to get like six packs of soda yep when you'd order your stuff, so we'd order Domino's, and I just remember, oh, so before Domino's changed all their stuff, and then changed it again, their deep dish pizza used to be the best. Like, the edge was so crispy and just amazing. But, so, I remember just, like, having Domino's pizza, and having Sprite, and, like, watching TGIF, and it's just like, because that's, that's, I don't know, nobody in our house preferred Sprite, but that's what we always got. <laughs> I can't imagine why, I don't know why we would get Sprite versus anything else, like, neither of my parents are big soda drinkers. Right. But I would say that neither of them's favorite soda is Sprite. Right. I think my dad's favorite soda is like root beer. And probably my mom's favorite soda is root beer too. I was right. going to say, when, whenever we got pizza, we'd always get root beer. So, always. And it's just, but yeah, so we would get Sprite. And I just remember it was like, just like big fat wedge of Domino's deep dish pizza. And just like the coldest possible can of Sprite. Yep. And watching TGIF. And that was like, that was like peak childhood. That's a, that's a good memory. It is so, a good memory. And so on to whatever your uh, well, I just, drink, I just, drink transmission. Well, <laughs> drink, drink transition. But I just remember, you know, you go to the store and like back in the day, Little Debbie's were 25 cents. You'd get candy cigarettes were a big deal. And there's two different oh, yeah. types. There was the, the bubble gum Cigars. garbage kind. Yeah. Yep. Well, no, the, like, they had bubble guns ones that were coated in the powder and wrapped in paper. And you could blow through the paper and it would blow oh, up the powdered yeah, sugar. Yeah. Do you remember those ones? But it was a, it was a gum tube. And then they had the, the, the chalky ones, and I loved the chalky ones. I did, too. Those the chalky were the ones were ones. delicious. There's, like, a horseshoe on there. Yeah, and then yeah like, no, I know what you're talking about. Yeah. I was pretty indifferent about They were way too hard. They're, well, they're, like, I chalky. I loved them. It was, like, I loved those straight things. chalk. But I went from um, Mellow Yellow, then energy drinks became a thing, and I think I went to Rockstar. Then I went to Nas for a while. And then I went to Monster. And I drank Monster for quite a while. And then one day... It's like monsters were just the sweetest. Like, they were way too sweet. And, like, the smell of a monster makes me sick from, like, how sweet they are. Really? Yeah. It, it reminds me of bubble gum. It, it's unbelievable. Like, it's, Rockstar, too, like, right, all of them, like, have, like, this really strong bubble gum overtone to me, which is, like, just a non-starter. Boy. The and one then, I then, used to drink. When you get older and your bones oh, hurt. You're, you're cutting her off, Jeremy. <laughs> I was say, the one I drank as a kid. Was it the Big Boys? Was that the... the Big was, Boys. I swear that's what it was. It was a green can. Mimi and I would drink it whenever we go, like, Black Friday shopping. We'd, you know, stop, and we, it's... I think oh, they, I think... Are you talking, like, the Monsters? They it had, wasn't Monster. Oh, okay. Red Bull? No, nope, it wasn't. It wasn't I'm, one I'm of those... Bre- think, it was its own thing. A big... I don't, I don't know. Gosh, well, I don't... We can crowdsource I, I worked it. at a gas station. Oh, what? Mike D said, how do we miss Surge? We had Surge, boy! Yeah, so actually... I mentioned back, it so earlier, like... We got a couple things, so uh, Margaret said that she grew up in the 70s, so Melio was the drink. Yes, but, but when Mountain Dew came out, I could not go back to. Mountain yes, Dew. girl. <laughs> yes. Um, Gabriel says to do stunts like that, Jeremy, you should drink Red Bull because you. Can <laughs> <play>. <laughs> I wouldn't have gotten hurt. <laughs> or I could have flown away if my pants were ripped. Mike Poor D Jerry. agrees that the chalky, uh, the chalky, right? uh, Candy cigarettes were legit, and then uh, Juliet says those candy gum cigarettes were fun. Oh, they were fun. I didn't even realize that you could blow the powder out of them until someone showed me that. I think. Which was, which was crazy. I just can't believe... Okay, Mickey's Donuts were well, there in that memory. Okay. And you crowdsourced that out. That was a, that was a that, cool little thing. That, that was something... This actually... So speaking of Mike D, 
<laughs> Fully loaded citrus soda with carbos. <laughs> um, my deed texted me and asked me about those donuts, right? Yes. Like, Do you remember what they were called? And I was like, I could picture the box vividly. Yeah. But neither of us could remember what it was called. So then I called my mom. And I was like, and I described the thing. And she could, she could picture them vividly. And Yellow box, chocolate, us, powdered, and coconut. Yep. And none of us could remember what it was. So then I was like, okay. And I, I'm on the phone with my mom. At this point, like trying to figure this out, so I open up Photoshop and I draw a photorealistic box. <laughs> it was good. It was really good. It's actually impressive. Everybody critiques me because I put the freaking chocolate and the powder to the wrong spot. I was like, I haven't seen a box of these in twenty years. You <laughs> critique me on that. You but, did get, at least you knew coconut was not in the middle. Yeah, no, like I, that was I, a I given. Was, that was my yeah. favorite one, and I knew it was on the right. Yeah, but. Uh, so I post it on the internet. Like I made this big, long, funny post. Literally within a minute, somebody replied with a picture of the box of Mickey's donuts, and they look identical. It's like the it exact was same it was real impressive. And I was like, so a, I was like, how the heck do you know these donuts so thoroughly that you can find a picture? Because I go- I tried googling the picture. Right, yellow box with brown or chocolate, white and or powdered and coconut. But. Th- that aside, it's like, how do you find like the exact picture that's like the exact box that I drew that quick? Anyway, it was this whole thing. The great donuts. Yeah. But so carry on with what you are going to say there, Jeremy. Oh, I just I was like, when you get older, you know, it's like now I have to drink water, you know, because I mean everybody has you. to drink water. Now I know, and I love coffee and everything. And I drink way too much coffee, but um, it's true. I so how many YouTubers do you have on your list? We brought a I game a with us too, by the way. But we're like, do you want to do the game? Should we do the game? Should we? Uh, sure. Okay. So all, all we're gonna do is we we have we have um like Justin has cinephiles on YouTube. Go check that out if mm-hmm. you haven't checked out. He does movie reviews on there. We have Rise of the Podcast where we do Lego mm-hmm. builds and podcasts and all sorts of fun stuff. And we're we're trying new things. We're always constantly trying. We're going live. That's a new thing. I'm, and, uh, I'm really liking this so far. And so with YouTube specifically, it's the subscribers is a big deal, right, yeah. on YouTube. So, Chris, we I, you may or may not know these YouTubers. I may or may not know these YouTubers. I tried to pick ones we would know. Okay. But what Kara did Some is, of them you might not. Hi, Bill. Thank you for joining Hi, in. Hi, Bill. Hi, Bill. Uh, One of the, for the, the first guest. The first, and the second guest. And the, the second. So the very next week. And our <laughs> Facebook manager. Um, yeah, so and, what, and the reason we have a Facebook following. Seriously, that is hashtag truth. I, <laughs> I feel kind of bad. We should have told Bill we were going live. <laughs> oh, Bill, we're sorry, Bill. We love you. Um, so, you didn't want to be involved in this headache, Bill, we promise. Oh, Bill, it was supposed to be live at 7. It was a hot seven. mess. Hot and, mess. And, and that we got here an hour to two hours early to set up, and we took an extra two hours worth of hardware trouble. I said we put out four fires and two more would pop up. Yeah. Is literally what it was like. Everything. Okay. Right, so let's... so here was the game. All right. Here was a pre. So we pay attention to YouTube. Like that's a big thing. We all use it. We love YouTube. We're, we're on YouTube, right? Mm-hmm. And so I had Kara find some YouTube subscriber or some people and just list off subscriber counts. All right. And so we're gonna compare like who's got more. All right. Okay. So you you so, lead us in the game, Kara. All right. So the first, uh, firstly, I want you guys to guess. How many subscribers PewDiePie has? So is he number one still? No, T Series is. Wait, no way. Okay, T Series passed him. Okay. So the, I, I looked at this from February. He must have passed him recently because Business Insider said that PewDiePie was still number one. Oh, interesting. Okay, uh, so, also, uh, like sometimes uh, people will classify stuff. So T Series is like the biggest, like oh, imagine, based off like, subscribers, like NBC of India. Okay. So like they, they how many they, subs they do post, they have? Do you like, know hundreds of videos a day? Well, don't don't say because I'll say my guess first. Okay. So I guess PewDiePie at sixty million subs. Okay, uh, uh, PewDiePie I think has one hundred thirty five million subs. PewDiePie has one hundred and five million Dang. subs. Wow, one hundred and five million subs. I, I, I believe T Series just passed one hundred and forty million. Wow. Dang. Wow. But you got to think, so India has a billion and a half people. Right. And, like, they're, like, the entertainment hub for, like... India? For that country, that region. Yeah. yeah. So it's, like, it, that's why it's sort of hard to compare, like, a single guy from Sweden right. and the biggest, like, media so, yeah, production I mean, uh, place of a, an entire region of a continent. So, so. that <laughs> I did try to keep this to single people, okay. not, like, a news Yeah, so, whatever. yeah, so that... That's fair. So, so uh, I, are we doing prices right rules, or are we doing just like closest overall? Just closest. Okay, because so I'm still keeping, off by twenty five million. <laughs> so I'm keeping. I'm keeping score. So Jeremy had. That I had one. sixty. 
Jeremy. Well, Chris won. No, I was so close. Oh, you're yeah, closer. Yeah, Chris so Chris won. has a point. All yeah. right. So. I know the YouTubes. Does Ninja have more subs? So Ninja's a big game screamer. Yep. Streamer. Yep. Or Ryan's World. He, I think he was the first was little kid to like reviewer. unbox yep. toy. Re- do so toy I just heard he made a lot of money. Yeah, man, that that's tough. Like, I'm, so speaking of Ninja, because he went to Mixer. Yep. Mixer sold out to Facebook. It, uh, it because the ownership changed. It destroyed the non compete that he had signed, so he can go back to Twitch. So he got paid thirty million dollars to leave Twitch and go to Mixer. He was there for a year. Mixer got sold to Facebook. It broke his contract, and now he can go back to Twitch. Didn't Microsoft used to own Mixer? Yeah. So Microsoft sold Mixer to Facebook. Yeah. Really? Dang. Wow, the internet's crazy. So yeah, so he made thirty million dollars to not to stream on a comp- competing platform exclusively for a year, and then he became a free agent again and went back to Twitch. Ninja, will you please wow. pay off my student loans? <laughs> <laughs> so just ridiculous. ridiculous. So I'm, I'm gonna guess Ninja's got more though. Man, unboxings like kids make up such a large. I'm gonna go with Ryan's World. Ryan's World has about. Just shy of two million more. Oh, Ryan's man. World has twenty five and a half million. Ninja has twenty three point seven. So, so here's what's crazy about about data. Just as a tangent, just really quick. So, with with data, right? Here's what's crazy about it. It's only what is that percentage of twenty three out of twenty five? Uh, mm. it's gonna be in the high eighties. It's gonna be ninety two. So eight percent difference, right? But you're talking about one, just two million. Two million actual people have clicked on Ryan's channel over Ninja. Like it's yeah. it's a small percentage of how far or like like they're close percentage mm-hmm. wise. Yeah. But that's still. Could you imagine trying to go out and get another mil, like two million people on your side or get two million people to care about? Yeah. What? No. That's it's, in, it's like, mind boggling. Yeah. So like eight percent for us is like sixteen people. Right. Exactly. Right. You know, it's like we could we could run down the street and be like subscribe to us and probably get sixteen people. Well, right. <laughs> mm-hmm. Right. All right, so do you guys want to guess numbers, or do you n- just guess who has more? Um, I, I feel more confident in the who has more than the numbers specifically, sure. but yeah. we, can, we can play ballpark numbers if we want. Okay, so the next one is a channel called Like Nastia. It's a Russian-American little girl, does a vlog with her friends and her dad. Okay. Or Smosh. Smosh is the OG. I can't imagine the... Okay, I'll go Russian girl. Okay. I want Smosh. Like Natsia oh. has more over twice what he Dang. has. What? She has 56.8 million subs. That's nuts. He's Good got 25.1. Wow. Yeah, it's like because Smosh started like back when we were starting to do video stuff. Like, yes. They were pre YouTube as well. Right. Like and, Rooster Teeth. Yeah. And then like when YouTube started up, we are like, oh yeah, these guys are doing like a similar stuff like what we're doing, but they actually like, stuck with it and became like famous and rich and like good at their jobs. Like, <laughs> now we're doing this. <laughs> All right, next one. Vlad and Nikita, two Russian boys. Okay. Or Mark Rober. Oh man, Mark Rober! I gotta do Mark Rober just because it's Mark Rober. I'll let you. I'll I'll go with the Russian people because I think that Akira is trying to trick us. They have. The Vlad and Nikita have almost four times what Mark Rober did. No way! That's Mark, insane. If, Mark, you haven't, if, if you haven't checked out, I mean, I don't know how you haven't yet, but if you haven't checked out Mark Rober, awesome videos. If you've ever had, like, a package stolen and you're frustrated, he did a glitter bomb package. I video. love that one if so you, much. I, I would argue that pe- people that don't think that they've checked out Mark Rober have I seen I guarantee you have Rober seen video. something of his. Exactly. That, there you yeah. go. That even sums it up better. But he did. So if my mom is watching, I don't know if she is or not. But mom, he did. He was so sick of buying bird feeders that squirrels can get into. He tried to squirrel proof his bird feeder. He failed at that. And he's an engineer. This is what he does. He couldn't make it. So he thought, all right, I'm going to make Former those little NASA guys. Former NASA engineer. Yeah, I'm going to make those guys run an obstacle course to get to the food. That's a great video. So Hilarious. the only way they can get it is like this, the, the bird feeder is over here <laughs> and the squirrel, like the bird feeder is over here and the squirrels have to run an obstacle course to get to it. And they still do it. Yeah, uh, squirrels so, are tenacious. So Mark Rober, great choice. So, uh, you know, a long time ago I talked to you about Captain Disillusion. I love his videos. Yep, I they just did a team up. Oh, cool. And I would have never thought that. That's awesome. Somebody had made a drone for your phone. And so you can, like, sit in bed and, like, your, the drone flies it. And it's, a, it's a viral video. Yeah. But it's fake, obviously. Yeah, I, I saw the Captain Does an Illusion vi- video about that. They did a team-up, too. So he called, oh, okay. So they did it. It's because I know that he had done one on that before. Yeah. Oh, it's so funny. The volume alone. <laughs> like, if you're laying in bed using yeah, a drone. That, to- yeah. <laughs> yeah. 
<laughs> All right, so Vlad and Nikita have 45.6 million subs. Wow. Mark Rober has 12.6. Okay. Yep. Oh. So I think Chris had that one. Yep. Uh, all right, next one. Slow-mo guys. Okay. Or how to basic. Oh, no. I'm going to take slow-mo guys because Jeremy picked first last time. Oh, I want, can I? How to basic's going to have more. I'm just going to, I'm just going to so, take a stand for slow-mo guys because I believe in them. The fact about slow-mo guys, I think they're my first YouTube subscription. I love slow-mo would guys. Be slow-mo guys. I if you guys say haven't checked out slow-mo guys, who I subscribe go to watch first. them. They're Gavin great. and Dan. They're Dan. Great. Hilarious. I love so those So can two. I go slow-mo guys too? Of course you can. Yeah, we have, we've got the same one. Oh. But I don't think that it's the right answer. I'm just picking them because I want to represent You them. are correct. Slow-mo uh, guys? How to basic has one million more than slow-mo oh. guys. I was right that I was going to be wrong. That's so. What but. kind of world do we live in when you're right when you're wrong? James James guessed how to basic, so good job, James. Hey. Oh, good job, James. Okay, next one. Dude Perfect. Yeah, Dude Perfect. We're I at Target. Dude, yeah. They have their own Nerf line. They, they do. do. I couldn't believe it. I was like, what? Yeah, no, I, I saw their, they did a giant Nerf trick shot video. So he's been around forever. I swear I remember him doing Dude stuff. Dude Perfect's, like, original YouTube. Like, he's like been around YouTube. for, like, 10, 12 years, Like, Jenna Marble, she was an original yeah, one. Yeah, right? yeah, they, they were, like, version one, like, Because I was going to say, successful. I remember watching his stuff when I first went to college. Yeah. And, like... I remember, it, like, his videos weren't the greatest, but I always thought they were cool because he'd make these awesome shots and stuff. I was like, what? Anyway, okay, so Dude Perfect or Kids Diana Show. Never heard of Kids Diana, so Dude Perfect. Yeah, I'm going to go with Dude Perfect, too, because I, I've never heard of Kids Diana Show. Dude Perfect has 52 million. Kids Diana Show has 56.6 no! million. No! Oh, my goodness. <sighs> I double-checked these before so we even started. who's got more, Dude Perfect or Mark Rover? Dude oh, perfect. Dude Perfect Mark by Rover a lot. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. He's only really gotten, like, more successful than the last year or so. He's got the nicest way. Please subscribe. Please I know. Please Mark Rover is so subscribing. I love that. He's so cool. It's I so love him. so simple. Uh, All right. Binging with Babish. That's Kara's I crush. love him. He is amazing. Cooking he can, channel. You can come and Cooking cook for me anytime you want. Okay. If, any, if want. anybody watching loves, if anybody watching loves Pop culture. Pop culture, anything. He creates recipes from the pop culture. Yep. Uh, and he makes them puffs good. from Emperor's New Groove, yeah. uh, bone broth soup he from He does stuff from Always from Sunny Yoda, in Philadelphia, Sunny, anything, The Godfather, I mean, them. everything. So mm-hmm. if I, he's got a very distinct voice. Yeah, I love him. Uh, so, Benji with Babish or Peter McKinnon? Oh, no. I'm going to go with Benji with Babish. I'm going to go with Babish as well. You are both correct. He has... Just shy of three million more than Peter McKinnon. Okay, man, Peter McKinnon though. I know he explo- makes some really good you stuff. You showed him to me was at like un- two point nine or th- right around three million. Was now it, I, I thought it was around two million when I showed it to you. That's probably the case because he's exploded lately, yeah. and now he's over five. Kara, he's just under five. I just think. under five. That's an insane amount. Peter, yeah, just under five. He's I at four point eight two. I watched a video from him today. <laughs> That's the difference between Ninja and the you know. Yeah. So yeah, Babish had seven point two five million. Peter McKinnon has four point eight two. So yep. that's insane. All right, Simon's cat. I love Simon's cat. I do too. Or an Australian artist named Jazza. I actually know Jazza. Do, oh, you, do you really? Yeah. I'm not personally. Well, no, I right, know. I got the idea. Your you reaction know. was so big. It's like no, I don't know. <laughs> but uh, I know Jazza. But Simon's cat. Simon's cat has. 5.32, Jazza has 5.23. Damn. No way, that is so close. Oh. The, the, I know, the, 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 I really wanted to trick you guys with that one, I did. Yes. So yeah, there's um, there's a, a few different um, artists. So there's uh, Odd Ones Out and uh, Jazza. I can't remember. I was right, he is Australian, right? Yes. Yes, okay, I thought I looked at I saw that right. And there's a couple, of, they're, 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 like they've done collabs and stuff. Like they're all fairly similar in the type of content that they make. But not so much the style, but mm-hmm. but they're all really really great. They're just awesome. So Last I'm glad one. Made this one. And I think people might not. I don't know. I feel like I feel like Logan Paul was recently he in was, some under fire. He was in trouble. Yeah, he but, was in trouble. All right. So his so, channel. Logan Paul, or Mr. Beast. No, don't <laughs> say that name to me. <laughs> Jeremy hates Mr. Beast. For those of you who don't know. Yeah. It's fine. We'll leave it at that. 
We're going to your close-up. Who are you picking? I cannot say the words, Mr. Beast, so I will go with Logan Paul. Chris? I, I think... I think it's definitively Mr. Beast. <laughs> it is very much definitively Mr. Beast. <laughs> Logan Paul has 21.9 million subs. Mr. Beast has 37.6 million it's subs. It's nothing per So we watched Amphibia. And I know feelings aside about the show, there's a cute episode where the main character is Sprig. He's a little frog. Runs into this old granny frog named Mrs. Croker. Yep. And he, Mrs. Croker says hi to Sprig's sister says hi to the other character, Anne, and walks right by Sprig. So he spends oh. the whole episode trying to get Mrs. Croker to like him. He breaks into her house, finds her long-lost lover, goes and tracks down the lover, <laughs> makes them reunite, but it turns out they've had a blood feud for their entire lives. <laughs> and the guy tries to kill Mrs. Croker, and she, like, protects herself. And she goes, why did you do this? Blah, blah, blah. And he's like, I just tried to get you to like me. And she goes, some people just don't like you. I don't like you because you're too happy. No, he was like, she was like, because your eyes and smile are too big. And their eyes and smile are too big. <laughs> and so, you know, and then so she goes, but you did so much effort. I will try to like you. And then, you know, so that was the point of the show. I just. Everybody, it turns out, by the way, knew that Mr. Beast was big. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I just, he's, there's nothing wrong with him. It's no, just, it's, it's, it's a little bit, just a little bit annoying that he counted yeah. to 10,000 or whatever. To, to, yeah, it was yeah, what, Jeremy and 1 I million? Are, yeah. Counted to? 10,000. Yeah, there's, like, oh. you, you die before you can count to a million, I think. Yeah. Um, okay. Jeremy and I was, have the same, like, opinion of, like, just the style of videos he makes isn't the style of content that we appreciate. Right. Like stunt videos, for lack of a better word. Like, he's basically doing, like. Here's my coworker Dave said this. Okay. It's like if Richie Rich had a YouTube channel. Yeah. If that's what he would do. It's it just, he takes his money and he re puts it into his vi next videos and he just keeps turning it over. Yeah. Like, um, you have to commend him because he did start with nothing. Right. Totally. But. Um, he was born in 1998. If it oh, makes you feel any better. That does not. It does not. <laughs> <laughs> he's Gosh. worth over 10. I think he's worth over like he's 10. He's not years. even a millennial. Gen He's a Gen Zer. Gen Zer. I yeah. don't. Like, it depends on where the cutoff point is. I thought like two thousand was the cutoff point. Oh, I that. heard from like eighty. Is it eighty three up until like ninety six? That's a whole nother thing. Like macaroni versus noodles, where, where the cutoff for Gen <laughs> yeah, Z. I, and I, yeah, I, yeah. So, anyways, that was my that was my whole spiel. Was that Kara did all the work? I just thought it was kind of interesting to see the difference in like scale of between, and then just the different varieties of content. Like you've got Simon's cat. Who I is love a cartoon. Simon's cat. They're hilarious. So good. And he then just, got, they just like, came out with a like, plushie for Simon's cat. Pure <laughs> wholesome. And well, I want to yeah. say Simon's cat's been around as long as oh, 2005. Yeah. I was going to say, I, I remember watching him to, in college. You know, my so. first years of college, too. Yeah, yeah. he's been around Easy. forever. His videos are so good. They're so cute. So Kara just did the work. I just thought it was kind of a cool yeah. comparison. Because uh, you had created a game about celebrities on imdb i didn't if you ever yeah. want to do that we don't have to ruin it but well no it's like we can tell people like if, if people want to play the, i invented this game as a time killer when i worked at a gas station is i'd go on imdb and i'd look up a random actor and i would ask people whether or not they had been in more or if they had appeared in more or fewer films than sean connery specifically against sean connery that's a good point we used because to do that sean, during our lego builds yeah yeah because sean connery it's like he's been he's acted forever yeah right but he hasn't really been in as many movies as like he is like he he definitely could have been in thousands of movies right now if he wanted to yeah but uh okay that reminds me so sean connery i'm just gonna make this comparison um the bernstein bears there's the whole thing about the internet misremembering things collectively. Yeah. Yeah, so like, did you hear the did you hear the yeah. new one going around the Shiva, uh, uh, Shazam? Shazam. With that one's been around forever. Has it been? Oh yeah. So he was never there was never a movie. The, 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 but like, everybody so, thought what you're talking about is the Mandela effect. Mandela. Effect. Yeah. And so the uh, the Shazam versus Kazam whatever. So like there I was remember there them was both. the Shaquille O'Neal one or whatever. So I, I'm not gonna. I do remember there being a Sinbad movie where he was a genius. Yes! Yes! But I don't remember it distinctly enough for it to not just be my brain conflating a couple of random competing things involving genies and Sinbad into that thing. And that's where I think this Mandela Effect stuff comes in, is when people just have, like, a, a tangential memory of something. Like, they're aware of something existing, and, like, something also exists in a very similar space. Right. And your brain just conflates the two, and then when somebody says... That was actually one thing, and you're like, "Oh yeah, of course," because your brain has it right next to itself. Right. Mm -hmm. That's what I think. That, that's my completely unscientific, no research <laughs> or 
Whatever, um, that's what I think happens when things like that occur. We, we have to, we should do just a whole podcast on... The Mandela effect. Uh, on, uh, on things that are misremembered as something different. But I was going to say, Apparently. Sean, Conner- Sean Connery, people just think yeah. that he has probably way more movies than he actually has been in. Yeah, so which is like kind of a fun thing, because there are some young actors that are like super prolific. Yeah. Where they've been in just tons and tons of stuff. And like, how do you have that many credits? Or, right. And then there are people mm-hmm. that have been like around forever, and they've been in like 50 movies. Which, like, 50 sounds like a lot, but, like, in the grand scheme of people on IMDb, it's not even freaking close. Right. (laughs) Seriously. It's been kind of a fun thing. Um, at one point during the podcast, when I get too loud, my when I'm over 90 decibels, my watch will yell at me, so I guarantee we probably clipped at some point, because I was so, I was so ramped up. So much energy went into this. This is so much fun. So, for the foreseeable future, we are going to do a live version of the podcast, um, on our normal schedule. Yeah, so. it, it won't be this late. Like normally, no, gosh, um, no. Oh my we gosh. normally record. Actually, so here's a question for everybody. Maybe we'll hang out for a minute while you guys tabulate your answers. If you like the podcast being this late, I suppose you could probably go this late, but it's not right. ideal for us. Right. No. Um, but we normally film Saturdays at noon. Yep. But if yeah, we get down live, here at eleven, record at noon. We would we'd like to know a good time, a good live time. You know. So. I was gonna say during the summer, I feel like Saturday at noon. Not no, we're doing, yeah, like people are out and doing stuff or whatever. So, yeah. like, if you guys have a preferred time, let us know because obviously, like, we're not here to go live to just hang out with ourselves. No, you know, it's like we're <laughs> we want to interact with you with guys. We had a ton of fun talking to you guys about all this different stuff. The the whole uh, the candy debate, the soda debate. Ugh. We always like we end up going on these freaking tangents and all this <laughs> stuff that means nothing to anybody, but it's always like forty percent of the podcast. <laughs> it's fun. It oh, is fun. You know what we should do? We just oh, I'm, I'm looking at my phone right here. I can't use my phone for this part because I'm checking. I'm watching chat. We should do the uh, the top five things of the week on uh, Star Wars. Oh, oh I, uh, yeah, I, I can pull it up. Okay. I can pull it up. So we started off as a Star Wars podcast. Kara and I went to the Star Wars celebration in 2019 in Chicago up. in April, and we got all ramped up, and we thought, hey, there's a bunch of people who like the same thing that we do, and let's talk about it. Let's start a podcast and actually talk let's about it. Let's about it. Oh, my <laughs> goodness. So Andy Star- says Saturdays at 7. Uh, that was our original yeah. time. Juliet says, uh, it's fun, but not this late. Poor Kara, I'm sure she needs some rest. Oh. Girl. <laughs> yes. <laughs> All right, so here we go. Uh, the top uh, top five Star Wars leaks for the week, and then that'll probably be what we go out on. Yeah. Yep. Um, Kenobi Director says the series production is definitely uh, is going to be different in The Mandalorian. Oh. Uh, in terms of sheer workload. So Kenobi's going to be a bigger? Is that what they're getting at? Yeah, from what I've heard, it's going to be fewer episodes, but bigger episodes. Um, oh, fun. So as COVID winds down, this is the second one. Um, Regal Cinemas is releasing The Empire Strikes Back as their opening movie Ooh. on the big screen Ooh, nice. to get people to come back into the sc- we cinemas. We don't have And that that's uh, July 10th. Um, the first chapter, so uh, the Star Wars universe general direction, is headed towards... In the prequel era, but even before that, it's called the High Republic. Yep. So they're doing... That's 300-ish um, years before? Uh, that's like 1,000 years That's 1,000 years. Okay. Uh, so the first chapter is out. There's a first chapter teaser of the book, the High Republic book. Ooh, cool. So that's pretty cool. Oh, I do th- want to say something. Last week, we talked about the Alphabet Squadron. Somebody had said... Yeah. Guess what I found at Barnes and Noble? Oh, they did have it. They had it, yo. Oh, Barnes oh. and Noble, you tricksters! <laughs> so I've been reading it. Um, it's so th- good. This Muy is excelente. this is a good week for Star Wars leaks. This was a really good idea. I didn't even I didn't. I'm on the heartbeat and pulse of Star Wars. I follow Star Wars. I follow everything. I don't follow. Uh, I this is the only I follow Lego Star Wars and this. So Jordan Mason on Twitter said there there is Mandalorian stuff coming this week, whether it be a trailer or something, Ooh. but there is something coming out this week. Get that excited. is pretty pretty we'll darn cool. We'll definitely be posting that on the page. Yes, we will. Oh man. Okay. So and then the last one for the week is audiobooks have been a huge thing for us. If you haven't heard, Libby or Overdrive are both a great place that mm-hmm. you can, with just your library card, rent, rent audiobooks mm-hmm. and ebooks for free, up to ten out at a time. 
That's pretty awesome. Up to 10 out at a time. Anyways, veteran Star Wars narrator Mark Thompson. I've listened to many a book he by Mark Thompson. He is such an excellent narrator. Is going to play uh, Darth Vader in the full cast of uh, the Dr. Af- Afra audio drama. So Dr. Afra is a Star Wars nice. character. So Ooh, cool. that's pretty cool. So there's, we're going to get a solid voice performance out of Mark Thompson. So that's those are the five facts this week. That's really exciting. I think really he did the Thrawn books, didn't he? Um, he does a lot. I think he's done all the Thrawn books. And his, oh, his Thrawn is spectacular. Oh my gosh! And the fact yeah, so the Thrawn so audio book version came out before Rebels Thrawn, and mm-hmm. the fact that they made Rebels Thrawn. So when they actually gave a voice to the character in canon sense, because you can't consider the narration of a character in an audio book a canon voice, right? It's a canon source Character. material yeah it's, yeah it's yeah. the you know audio yeah, they're, readers. they're not gonna go and get james earl jones and harrison ford and everybody to read their voices and so correct right and right? then like when you have mark thompson reading off a female's voice they're not gonna be like nope i'm sorry uh, this general Zord price needs sounds to like Kara. <laughs> yes yes <laughs> Um, so the, the Rebels Thrawn, when they actually gave him a character voice, sounded so much like Mark's Tom, Mark mm-hmm. Thompson's Thrawn. It was in, that's in, awesome. so it, good. It was really, really good. And he's got such a calculated way of, of, of speaking. It was really mm-hmm. good. So, um, man, I just can't believe how much more energy there was in the podcast studio tonight right. being live. I love interacting with people. It's the best. Oh, the interactions were the best part. I just... So if you've never watched a live video before, when you guys ask a, us a question, we're already about how far? 20 seconds ahead? Yeah, there, yeah there's that. a 20, 25 second delay. So before we can reiterate what you were saying. but Yeah, and then of course I have to actually catch it too. Margaret says, I love the Thrawn books. Girl. Oh, they're so good. They're very good. And they're coming. I'm, oh. I'm excited for the next three because they're coming out with another trilogy of Thrawn books. Dang. Yeah, super uh, excited about um, that. Uh, the cadet that we all love. Eli Vantos. Ma- Eli Vantos. Margaret Eli Vantos. You awesome haven't character. even listened to the full third. The, I have not book. finished the third book yet. And Eli is like he's he's got a decent role in the third Thrawn book. Spoiler, Spoiler alert! Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, everybody. We know that Kara needs to get some sleep because yes. we're late. Yeah, what time is it even right now? It's ten thirty at night, guys. What? Wow. I need to go home. It is outrageously late. I I am normally in bed by like 9, 30, 10 o'clock. This is a, this is after my bedtime. This is. This is a good time. Uh, man. How long, All right. uh, how long have we been streaming for? An hour and a half. We've been up for an hour. An hour we've been up for an hour and seventeen minutes. Wow. Chris, take us out. All right. Well, thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you for participating live. Uh, let us know like so it seems like there's a lot of support for Saturdays at seven. Uh, I'm just guessing. I don't know. So we'll 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 continue asking throughout the course of the week, see what time you guys want to see us go live again. Uh, if you're watching this on YouTube, consider checking us out live on Facebook at some time in the future. We'll uh, we'll make sure that it's known what time we're going live. If you're checking this out on Facebook in the future, consider checking out our old podcasts on YouTube. Tons of them. 59 any- of them. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> or anywhere you can download uh, your podcast from your iTunes and Spotify's and Google Play Musics of the world, uh, plus other places if you decide to tell Jeremy where you want them. Email Jeremy at contact Email me. Podcast. I got one more thing to say. Hold on. I want to thank everybody here on Facebook who has, no matter how you found us, if it's through memes or through something, and we want to give a big shout out to Bill for all the hard work yeah. he does to find 10, and just percent. post all these awesome memes. So just thank you guys. We really, we like, we, the page has become what it was because of you guys. And I love the engagement, the fans and the top fans. And um, like when we went live the first time, uh, Gabriel was just awesome. So just thanks to all you guys. This is the reason why we're able to keep doing and keep going. Thanks, Christine. <laughs> oh, yeah, absolutely. And uh, Julia says it's 1130 in Atlanta. Oh, man. <laughs> well, thank you for yeah. uh, that, sticking with us. That is like, you know, dedication. I was in work in, <laughs> we can talk forever. I was in at work in Atlanta, in Georgia for two months in January and for two months. Yeah. I miss podcasts because of it. But anyways, yeah. Yeah, I that's digress. When Keith came out, yeah, I was in Savannah. Yeah, I was yeah, bringing Savannah. it all yeah. the way back around because yeah. Keith was got here the first week you were gone. Yeah. Um, but yeah, so we're gonna we're gonna keep doing our lives on Facebook. We're gonna try and find a way to do it on YouTube at the same time too, so that the people there also get a chance to see them. Uh, you know, like comment on this video, even like if once we're done with the stream or something. If uh, we check every comment, yeah, with if with the topics you want us to cover in the future, uh, anything that like, you know. Words of encouragement, words of discouragement for Jeremy, if you want. <laughs> yeah. uh, and anything you want to put down there. Uh, if you're watching this on YouTube, like the video, subscribe if you're not already, and ring the notification bell so you'll be notified when we go live. 
That way you won't miss us. Because you definitely want to be able to participate with us while we're doing this. Thank you guys so much for watching. And of course... May the force be with you. Oh my god. Oh, and then this is the awkward part at the end of the video Woo! where I have to cancel it. Goodbye, everybody. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. I'd have to confirm it, too. Okay. Bye! Bye. Bye. Bye.